Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, we will be looking at the solution to the problem number 2 of Lead Code Weekly Contest 217. Name of the problem is, find the most comparative subsequence. Given an integer array nums and a positive integer k, return the most comparative subsequence of nums of size k. An array's subsequence is, we know what a subsequence is, so we don't have to read that. We define that a subsequence A is more comparative than a subsequence B of the same length. If the first position where A and B differ, a subsequence A has a number less than the corresponding number in B. For example, 134 is more comparative than 135. And why so? Because the first number that is different, that is 4 and 5. So in A, 4 is smaller than what is given in B, that is 5. So that is why A is more comparative than B. So in simple terms, we just have to find a subsequence of length K, which is lexicographically smallest. Here, K is given as 2, and this is the nums array that we have been given. In this, if you want to find the lexicographically smallest subsequence, that will be 2, 6. Similarly, when k is given as 4, and uh, this is the given array, then in this array we can see that the smallest element is 2. So we are obviously going to start our lexicographically smallest subsequence with 2. Then the next number that we can select is uh, among the given numbers from 4 till 6, but then the smallest number is 3. So we are going to select 3. So we are going to pick up the first 3 so that for next time we are left with another 3. Now we are going to pick up the second 3 again. Now from the given part of the array which is left with us, 5, 4, 9 and 6, we are going to pick the smallest that is 4. Hence we obtain the lexicographically smallest subsequence. We know that in order to obtain the lexicographically smallest subsequence, the most prior element is the first element and then the second element and then the third element and so on. So finding the n square solution for this problem is not a trivial task. You can easily do it. How we can do this? So let us take this example and try to explain. So the number of elements that we have to pick are four. And we can pick this starting from this element till this element. So as we discussed, we are going to pick the smallest element from the available element. And we have to follow the condition that the remaining element are at least 1 minus the given number of elements which we have to find. So what I mean to say is, if I have to pick one element from this given range, starting from 2 till 6, and I am left with 4 elements to pick, so I have to leave at least three elements from the end so that I can pick them up in the future. So when I pick up one element, I will be left with three elements to pick. And that is why I have to leave at least three elements at the back from where I can pick up in the future. So I have a range starting from two till five to pick elements and I can pick the smallest among these. Because as we already discussed that, we have to pick the smallest element in order to make our subsequence lexicographically smallest. So I will find the minimum from the given range that is starting from 2 till 5 and uh, I will see that the minimum is 2. So I will pick up 2 as the first element. Now I am left with 3 elements to pick. And now my new range will become starting from 4 till 6. Now this is my new range. From here I can pick up elements. Okay, I'm left with three elements to pick. Now when I'm picking up the second element, so I will be left with two elements after picking this. So that is why I have to leave at least two elements at the end. So I have a range starting from 4 till this second 4. So this is the range that I have to pick up the second element. I will find the minimum in this range. The minimum in this range is 3. And I'm going to pick up the first 3. I'm going to go greedy with this. So I will pick up the first 3. And now my range will shift 
from second three till the end. Why did I pick up the first three? So that in the next iteration, I have uh, another three, the second three left to pick up. So now I am left with picking two elements. So let me pick up the third element now. So the third element, the smallest element that I have to pick up in the range, I have to leave how many elements at the end? I have to leave only one element because after this I will be left with one element to pick. So I am leaving one element at the end. So my range will be starting from this 3 till this 9. I will find the minimum in this range and that is 3. I am going to pick 3. Adding 3 to our range and shifting it to 5. Now this is the last element to pick. So I can pick up from any of these 4 remaining elements. So the smallest element that I find is 4. So I am going to add 4 here. So this is the uh, sequence that we have obtained and it is correct. So this is the n square solution. Now as the given constraints are 10 raised to the power 5 we are going to get TLE with the solution of course. So we are going to find a better optimal approach for the same. So one way is to use Fenwick trees but that is way too complex for the second question in the lead code which is of medium difficulty. So that is why we are going to solve this problem using another concept called monotone stack. I have an entire playlist on the topic stack. You can go and find that out. I have solved many questions related to monotone stack as well. So if you know the concept of monotone stack, this problem is nothing but a simple implementation of a monotone increasing stack. Now as we saw that the subsequence that we have obtained is uh, monotonically increasing in nature. So it is 2, 3, 3, 4. So what we can do is we can maintain a stack. So let me demonstrate the same with the help of a stack here. So this is stack. And I have to select four elements from how many elements we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that means that I have to remove four elements. So now, let me insert the first element to the stack, that is 2. Okay, yeah. So 2 is the first element that we have inserted. The next element is 4. 4, again we are going to insert it because uh, we have to maintain the increasing order. The third element is 3. Now, we cannot put 3 here. In order to put 3, we have to remove 4. So can we remove 4? Now, we see that the elements which are left to remove our 4. So we can remove one element that is 4 from here and insert 3 at this place and now the total number of elements that we have to remove will reduce to 3. Alright, had it been the case that the total number of elements that we have to remove are 0, so in that case we would not be able to remove 4 and uh, the sequence would of course uh, will not be in an increasing order the next element is 3 again, so 3 can be placed here. Next element is 5, 5 can be placed. Next element is 4, so in order to place 4 we have to remove 5. So total number of elements that we have to remove are 3 now, so we can remove 5, insert 4 and reduce the number of elements to be removed to 2. Next element is 9, then 6. To insert 6 we have to remove 9 so just simply change it to 1 and remove 9 insert 6 so we can see that we have obtained a monotonically increasing stack still the total number of elements that we have to remove are 1 so that we can do from the end of the stack because that is the best choice to make so we are removing 6 now, this is the sequence that we are left with, 2, 3, 3, 4, and this is the answer. So now let's move forward and try to code this. I have to return a vector of integer. In order to implement stack, I am simply going to use the vectors. We can simply make use of vectors because we can push back at the vector and we can pop back from the vector in a constant time. So int remaining. These are the number of elements that are remained to remove. So that will be num.size 
minus k these many elements we have to remove now while not stack dot empty so that will be answer dot size and and remaining that uh, means that we have we are remain with few elements to remove and hmm so for we have to do this for each of the elements inside nums for auto a belongs to nums while stack is not empty and number of elements we have to remain are not zero and the element the current element is smaller than s dot top the topmost element of the stack that means answer dot back we can pop from the back of this stack so answer dot pop back finally we can insert the current element to the answer and now we will have to see that if the number of elements that we have to remove are still non-zero so while rem answer dot pop back we are removing from the topmost element from the stack so in this case the total number of elements that were remain to remove are one so we removed six from the top of the stack the topmost stack will obviously be the maximum element inside the stack so that's why we are removing from the top and finally return the answer let us try to run this I will provide in the description the entire playlist based on monotone stack so you can find that out why is it giving us TLE while answer dot size alright hmm we have to reduce this so you can check the description box for the playlist of monotone stack you can solve few questions if you're not comfortable with the topic and it got accepted this solution is big off and in terms of space and in terms of time the solution that we discussed earlier the n square solution is uh, n square in terms of time of course and big off one in terms of space so this is it for the solution I'm going to provide the tutorials to other problems in the in the contest in future so please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you haven't done already thank you